Good morning, everybody. I'm coming to you live today from my kitchen. I've got a few sleepy heads again upstairs, so um, yeah, I thought I would just set up down here in the kitchen and uh, we'll get started in just a couple minutes. We're going to need a chair today, and that's about it. So I'll get started in just a minute or two. Hi, Dee Dee. Okay, I think we can get started. So, as I said, uh, we are coming to you live from the kitchen today because we have some sleepy heads upstairs. So, uh, and I'm also using my iPad today instead of using my uh, phone. I think I can get a little bit of a wider lens using the iPad. So. We'll see how that works. Um, hopefully I've set it all up properly. Uh, so let's get going. As I said, we're going to need a chair today. So um, let's get going. So as usual, we're going to start in mountain pose. So bringing your feet about hip distance apart, really rooting them into the floor, feeling them grounded all four corners of your feet. And let's stand up tall, lengthening the spine. Lengthening the neck, bringing your head towards the ceiling, really feeling the lengthening in the body right from the top of your head all the way down to your toes, connecting the top of your head with the sky and your feet with the ground. And let's take those shoulders and relax them and bring the palms forward and gently close your eyes and begin to bring your awareness into the room that you're in right now. Just breathe. Nice natural breath. Don't try to change the breath. Just be aware of it and notice it. Notice where your breath goes into your belly or into your chest. sounds around you, notice them, and then just come back to your breath. Just starting our day with some peace. And feeling gratitude that we have this time to carve out for ourselves. Lengthen your next inhale and raise your arms. Open your mouth and exhale. One more time. Nice deep breath in. And exhale. Letting everything go. And on this inhale, bring the hands up. And let's keep them raised. And when you get to the top, just kind of fold your fingers in, leaving your pointer fingers up. I think you can see them from there. And then inhale, lifting up. And on an exhale, just bend gently over to your right. And then breathe in and out. 
Feeling the lengthening on the left side body. Opening up that rib cage or breathe right into those ribs. And then come back to center. And then again, inhaling, reaching up. And exhaling gently, going over to the left side. And this time opening up the right side body, opening up those ribs, feeling a nice, beautiful stretch in the obliques. And just keep breathing naturally. Come on back up to center. And let's bring the hands down to heart center. And then from here, we're going to cactus our arms. So we're going to bring our arms out to the sides and bring them right back, shoulder blades together, opening up the chest. And then exhaling, let's bring the body forward. Hands come forward, rounding the back stretching out the back and then on an inhale back to cactus arms the elbow ears the shoulder blades together and then breathe naturally and exhaling bring the arms forward rounding the back And then bringing the hands back to heart center. And from here, from here, we're going to bend at the waist all the way forward. And just let everything relax forward. Letting the arms hang, letting the head hang. Micro bend your knees if you feel you need to. Just a nice, comfortable stretch all in through the spine here. And on an inhale, come up halfway. Hands are resting on your shins. Flat back. Lengthen the spine here. Maybe open up your heart a little bit, the chest. And then exhaling forward fold again. Relaxing everything. You can shake your head yes and no. Take your arms, grab your elbows, and just rock side to side. And then releasing, bend the knees, and roll up slowly one vertebrae at a time. When you get to the top, roll the shoulders back. And then forward. And let's lift these shoulders up to the ears. And then just push the shoulders down. And one more time up to the ears. And then push them down. And then just relax. So now grab your chair. And I've mentioned before there's so many ways you can do cat cow. You can do cat cow as we've done it with your hands on your thighs. You can do it um, with your hands and knees on the floor. You can do it sitting in a chair. What we're going to do today is we're going to do it just using the chair. We're going to put our hands on the chair and step back a little ways. Feet are going to be hip distance apart. And then from here, we're going to do our cat cows. So we're going to begin with um, an inhale, lower the belly and lift the head up and then exhaling tuck in the pelvis bring the belly button up and bring your chin to your chest and then inhale cow keep those shoulder shoulders away from your ears exhale cat and bend your knees a little if you need to and carry on with these cat cows on your own. A couple more. Really warming up the spine. And 
and when you're ready, just come back to neutral. Now from here, I want you to take your left foot and bring it forward and bring your right foot back. And then you can hold on to the chair if you want. We're going to do a lunge here. So you're just going to bring that left knee forward so the knee is over your ankle. Take a step back if you need to, to make sure that you've got that alignment. And from here, just pressing the heel back on your right foot, feeling a nice stretch in through the calf. And then release that. Step the light right foot in just a touch and then lean back so that your toe comes up on your, le on your left foot. And I kind of move back because I think you might be able to see me if I move back a little bit. There we go. And then bringing that forward. Let's take our right foot forward now and our left foot back. We're going to bend the front knee so the knee is over the ankle and press that left foot heel back. Nice calf stretch on the left hand side. And then releasing that, take a slight step in and leaning back, lift that right foot up and hold it there. And then release it. Let's turn our chair around. And you want to have a seat just on the edge of your chair. <clears throat> and we're going to do figure four here. So we're going to start by taking our right leg and we're going to cross it over the left leg. And from here again, we're going to sit up tall, lengthen the spine, lengthen the neck. Inhale, and on the exhale, just come forward. And keep coming forward till you feel a nice stretch through the glutes, a little bit in your hands. And breathe. And then come on back up. And let's just take that right foot, rotate the ankle, and rotate it the other way. And then release that leg. Let's do the other leg now. So left leg crosses over the right. And sitting up nice and tall and an inhale. Exhale, forward fold all the way until you feel that nice stretch. And then you can hold it there for a few breaths. Again, this is a great one that you can do sitting at your desk or wherever your workstation is these days. And then come on back up. And let's rotate the ankle in one direction. And then in the other, oh, I'm getting some creaking. That feels really good. And then bring that leg down. And now we're going to do a spinal twist. So again, sitting, staying where you are at the end of your chair. You want to take your left hand and place it on your right thigh. And take your right hand and just bring it behind you, grabbing the chair wherever you can. Um, again. Lifting up tall on an inhale, exhaling, rotating around to the right. And then you can bring your head just a little bit further to look over your right shoulder and breathe. And then release the head and Twist right around to neutral, and we'll do the other side. So right hand now on your left thigh. Left hand comes behind you, sitting up nice and tall on an inhale. And exhaling, rotate around. And then continue with the head and the neck, looking over your left shoulder, just to where it feels comfortable for you. You 
breaths here. And then coming around to neutral. And now let's just take our right leg. We're going to shimmy over to the right. We're going to take our right leg and we're going to put it behind us on the chair. You can leave your toes up or you can put your foot flat. I like to keep my toes up. I think I get a better stretch in through the hip flexor. And as we do this, let's take our right hand up, bend it back. These hip flexor stretches are so important if you have a sitting job and you're at your desk all day because those muscles, they shorten. And let's go down. And that's how you end up with some back problems. So it's really good to stretch them. You can again do this anytime at your desk. And then shimmy over to the other side. Taking the left leg back. Again on your toes or flat, whatever's comfortable for you. And let's take the left hand up. release shimmy back to the center and let's just take a quick gaze over our right shoulder and bring the chin across the chest and look over the left shoulder and then come back to center and bring the head back looking up And down. And then coming to center, let's tilt the head to one side. You take the other opposite arm out. Feeling a beautiful stretch in through the, uh, the neck. And bring that hand back to center and tilt the head to the left side and your right arm comes out. Bring the hand back down and bring your head back to center. And let's just breathe in and breathe out. And on the next breath, arms come up. And exhaling with hands to heart center. And thank you all for joining me today for your 15 minute stretch. I hope that you enjoyed it and you're feeling a little bit of calm and knowing again that you can come back to your breath and these stretches at any time during your day. But it is a beautiful day out there. So get outside if you can. Enjoy the sunshine. Enjoy your day. Namaste everyone. Bye-bye.